I think he pushed the cue ball so hard into it, it smashed the rail. Yeah. Right. I don't foresee another uh, a miss like that. Well, I mean, you know, the thing is, if he comes off the rail up high, I mean, there's just no way he can do it. You can't, you can't win that way. Yeah. Right. Does he, does he follow this or, or try and punch it in between the six and the f four? It looks like he's punching a little bit. Yeah, and he hit it. I don't see what he, he did. He was trying. He was trying to drift it over in between the five. Can he still play safe here? Yeah, he can, play, he can see it, but it's not a good save. I mean, if he does, he's gonna he's gonna kick it off the he's gonna kick it off the bus. I, I, oh. We got another person uh, coming in to uh, do some comment heating. Yeah, he's got, uh, he's got a better kick at this for safe than he does hitting it. Yeah. Uh, can you introduce yourself here? Yeah, my name's Ken. Ken, yeah. where are you from? From Chicago. Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> you guys neighbors? We're brothers. <laughs> I know. Who's <laughs> <laughs> introducing him? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm introducing yeah. him. Yeah, you bet. What do you think of this tournament, Ken? How, 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 what do you think of this uh, turnout here? Tonight? I think whoever wins this match here wins the tournament. That's my opinion. Really? Wow, that, yeah. that's pretty well out there. Got a lot of great players in here. Yeah, I'll, there take, is. I'll take that there. as a Calcutta. It is. What a nice, he got really, he, he kind of got fortunate there on that on that, on that that play. What do you think he does here with this, Troy? Do you think he comes up with the three and banks it? or do you Nah, play to... safe. He's going to he's gonna lock it up over by that seven up there and uh, play a little little duck shot with all of those blockers. Where he can put the cue ball up behind the 10, too. Come short inside of the 7. That's one way. There's another way. That's the easy way. But the thing with these weak safes, He's got a window that's there. a weak safe. Even even if he didn't have a window, the problem with playing copinging these safes where you're leaving in distance he can jump so good he jumps very well I mean, yeah, we that's good it. as as probably he jumps this i might jump out of the basement window <laughs> yeah that's a long that's a, <laughs> that's, a that's almost like a double jump al right yeah, yeah he's i mean he just jumped one in the first game that i mean he jumps over and i think he's only an inch and a half away from the balls yeah and he, and he gets and he gets an automatic safe yeah, two rails two rail safe there it was unbelievable I think he may be able to... I think he's playing safe. Yeah, he, he's probably better off playing safe because he doesn't look very comfortable. If he can put the ball behind it... He's and, looking to dig into it and drop behind the tennis. Ten, he's right. trying to do yeah, it. Yeah, he's going to put it right behind it. So, Al, I was going to talk to you a second. I wanted you to bring up something. What do you think of myself coming to uh, Steinway Billiards this week? You think I brought any uh, any environment back to the place? Well, since you got here yesterday and you got the Times Square, they had you on 24-hour surveillance. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way of putting it, Al. It the, <laughs> was on the big screen downtown for Halloween. <laughs> they got the... Uh, the cameras, the street cams watching you. <laughs> that's an amazing thing. And they said, uh-oh, Mr. Action is in town. <laughs> so... They said there used to be a guy come in here, a guy come up to me tonight, and he said there used to be a guy come in staying away for 20 years and gambled, and they called him and told him not to come back. There's a new territory guy in the, in the spot. He left him my number. He said, you want to see a real gambler come out now? He says, you're wasting your time when you oh, come back. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, but it's a call shot, yeah. call safety. Yeah. Unbelievable. Left him right out. Figured he tried sticking him. So since they found out you're here at Steinway, they sent in the daily news and he sent in the press. And, uh, well, he said he, he said he called the thing, and, and it's supposed to be on the New York Times paper for the Mets game, yeah, yeah. and they made an article of me and put the Mets behind it. Yeah, well, that's the way to do it. And the Mets article is tiny. <laughs> that's, <what I'm> saying. <laughs> that's neat. We're having a lot of fun, folks. Come by and say hello to everybody at yeah. the booth here. What a great time. I mean, Upstate Al just has a great place here. I mean, what a video setup. I mean... The stream is amazing. There's so many views of the tables, of everything. It's just, it's just a great time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I come out every time we chance we get. I uh, went up to the Turning Stone. We did that one. Uh, this is like my fourth or fifth nice event. That absolutely. I just, I just, I just ordered your Gotham one. Uh, 
upstate out and yeah. and uh and i watched you guys up there and i mean i was just blown away and how oh, oh, i mean how oh, professional oh, it was and how the scenery and everything wow. was and how you announced each game i appreciate it and that. it said it just was unbelievable and for me to be in the box and talk to you guys right now just means a lot to me because uh, what i got to see was great i watched every match i listened to everything you guys said and, and i mean that. you guys really kept it motivated it, it was worth watching oh, so cool. folks this is this is definitely a great time to see so if you're in town tonight or uh, around Steinway Billiards, get down here and check out this action because it's a lot of fun tonight. Hey, even if you're not in town, maybe you're from like Chicago and Absolutely. you can just drive out or fly out. Did you guys fly? We flew. We flew out to New York. Yeah. Did you go? What a to miss again! Oh man, I can't. We that we, we get another wow. miss. I mean, and we see. I mean, by Kevin. He's made more mistakes tonight just yeah. in a single match than he did at all the U.S. Open. Dopen. Did you watch it? Right. Did you guys yeah. go? That's what I was alluding to. And did Troy, you, you just said it. To the open? Right. No, we didn't. And oh. Troy, you just said it a minute ago. These guys don't miss. This is the third big miss yeah. in the last three games. I mean, you don't see a lot of misses like this from these this type of player. No, he, right. he was, his uh, right. tournament average down there. Was in, in the, the nine old, hearts. Yeah, nine, nine pluses. Yeah. Yeah. Nine pluses, and uh, he's right now got two errors in a minimum of three games. He's batting like 200 now. <laughs> he's batting, yeah, he's batting 200. <laughs> I still wouldn't want to play him, though. <laughs> yeah, he can bat whatever he wants, but I don't want to play him. <laughs> you got that right. right. All right, Coping E strikes again. Four to two. Coping E. Hey, we got Mr. Dennis Urkola standing at the booth. Hey, Dennis, you want to come in and take my mic and talk for a little bit? Hey, Dennis, we want to say something to you real quick. Like I was telling the folks out there, Dennis is in the booth. This training video, I wanted to mention something to you all. This man has got more techniques than Babe Ruth did with the baseball bat. I know. <laughs> he does, too. Yeah. I, I mean, you got to love his admire. His, 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 the way he handles himself out in the out in the pool industry is amazing. Yeah, really. This man is he's born a to be a champion. pool player. A he's true a true champion. champion. Just good hearted person too. Yeah. Do anything for anybody. I mean if the man can stand in front of you and, and get defeated in one match and come back and still love the game. That's right. what pool needs. Right. Yeah. Dennis Dennis we have one question for you. Come on in the booth. We're going to bring Dennis or Cole in for one second. No, no, we don't have to bring him in. He wants to come in for a second. We're going to put Dennis on real quick. We're going to put Dennis in the, in the booth. All right. We got to hurry up because we got a championship match here. Dennis, put the set on. Sit down. Look over here. Yes. How you doing, Dennis or Cole? Yes. I'm fine. I'm tired. Every day play pool. <laughs> there he is, folks. Dennis or Cole. Dennis or Cole. Hi. He's in the Hello, house. Everyone. How you doing, Dennis? Uh, well, uh, I, I, I've been around playing pool. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my second round. Hey, Dennis. Dennis. So I tried to come back. What do you think about this tournament with everybody in here? Oh. What do you actually think about it? Give me some of your input. Oh, that's great. You know, yeah. very, very nice. You know, a lot of good players right here. Right. You know, I mean, there's China, Taiwan. Great players from all over the you know, world. All over right. the world. Don't, you don't know. mention the Philippines. There's too many fish out there. Right. Way too many. <laughs> but they're piranhas. <laughs> I like well, how that, you put that, that out. They were they were uh, mentioning before you you're coming out with a DVD. Oh yeah, uh, I may do a DVD for us. You know, I mean uh, just just I'm doing what I'm doing to uh, I do for uh, information, especially the. Uh, average player, you know. Oh, so I mean, you're going to give a, a, a uh, instructional information, information about pool, you know. DVD I mean, about the, pool. The big yeah. thing, the big thing, I think, Dennis, what we're doing is we're going to show people how to play for cash. The yeah. cash king himself in the booth tonight, yeah. letting us know what's going on. <laughs> the guy with ice in the veins. So you're going to tell everybody the secrets and give fish like me a shot to to right. uh, <laughs> to step yeah. up and get, and get some uh, Lowe, some cold water in his blood. Yeah, I mean, uh, I might tell uh, how, uh, how how my secret, how I train, you know, and how to handle pressure, and you know, so but very important how to train. You, you do need to train in this game. Yeah. Just, it's a sport, right? right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Not only is he doing that, he's going to go over the techniques, and he's going to show people how to how to shoot straight, how to how to stroke the ball, how to shoot the ball straight, how to make balls at all times at any angles. Well, yeah. we're looking forward to it. And not only oh, that, yeah. but he's going to very soon. And not only that, but uh, the big thing that Dennis is going to do, and we want to let all the folks know out there, is that he's going to basically let everybody know where he was when he was a younger 
it, when he played when he was seven up, how he gambled and how he, he got to be the greatest gambler out there. Right. So this is going to be a really special story, guys. This is something that no one's ever going to see. It's it's amazing. So it's not just going to be uh, an instructional. You're going to give a little uh, background on your yeah. history, too. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. I'm Very nice. Everything. What uh, a you know? shot, Dennis. Uh, Dennis, yeah. what a shot he just made. Oh, wow. Made the one and the six at the same time. Oh, you know what? We have a, we have a great match right here on the TV table, you know? Oh. Um, hey, both. Dennis, what does he do with this two ball, Dennis? What, what's he do? Does he oh, break this or does he no. play the side? Uh, we, he play on uh, the side, one rail. So and he comes back natural shape. And, and this, yeah, shave a little bit and make uh, come back to the middle in the play ball, you know? So, just pack the ball, that's it. Yeah, that's it from here. He's got no problems just getting on the right angle on the five right. in the center this is of the gonna table. Put, this is going to put uh, Cole Pinini up uh, five to two, folks, if he can get out from here. This this is a little window. That ten ball grows as that cue ball goes up table. <laughs> it does grow a little you know, bit He's got to be careful. He just wants to play. Yeah, that's a, that's the window he wants to yeah. play. Dead center of the table. Not too hard. Not too hard. He got clean. on top of it. I mean, he really yeah. played that real good, Al. Yeah, that, that's the best you can get it right there. I mean, you couldn't ask for it any And that's better. why he is number one in the world, huh, Dennis? Right, yeah. Coupigny is, uh, you know, one of the greatest players, you know, one, uh, very strong. Yeah, very strong. He, yeah. he did miss two uh, uncharacteristic shots before, early in the match. He, he, uh -huh. he joined a, a, a five ball, I believe it was. And uh, also, Kevin did the same thing. He missed, like, two or three balls. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, which... He played the open. He, he was playing shooting like 920, mm -hmm. and we just said he he took his batting average way down because yeah. <laughs> he you missed know what, the ball. Uh, sometimes good player, you know, they miss uh, easy shot, you know. Sometimes one, you know, but they but they they learn how to come back, you know. Yeah, they, you got to refocus, yeah, right? Focus That's part of your training. Yeah, of, and then you know, come back. Yeah, the, That's uh, where the training is going to be, Troy. Is is the focus, the mental, how it takes to. He misses right. another screen. Now, there we were just talking about missing shots. Right. Yeah. And there, it, everybody's human, you know, right. and it's it's different tables, right? He's not used yeah, to yeah. it. Brand new cloth. These guys want to play me soon? I'm up yeah, for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you got, <laughs> you got a lot of money betting on the other guy. You want to get in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis, we're looking forward to this DVD. Yeah. And, uh... You gotta let us know and let Upstate Al know, and he's gonna, and we'll, we'll put it out there, and we would love to see it, and we're yeah. excited for it's it. It's one of the greatest DVDs that's ever gonna come out, and I'll tell you why. It's gonna be not only training, but it's gonna be the emotions that he shows, the mental, physical, right, right. of betting for the real cash it's in a hand. Production DVD. It's, it, yeah, it's now, are you just gonna do DVD, or you, would I be able to purchase uh, just the? Well, Chang, Chang puts another game on the wire. It's now four to three. Good guys, take it away. That's right. To update Thank the you score for everybody. Uh, right. Is is it also going to be available to just download? Absolutely. It's gonna That's be the on, way to go. It's going to go to dennisarcola.com. www.dennisarcola.com. Yeah. He's got his own web page. It's going to go out. So that's going to be amazing there. Beautiful. All right, <laughs> Dennis. Thank you very much for uh, stopping in the booth and uh, help promote your. DVD and uh, good luck with hey, that. Dennis, good luck with the match. Hey, well, I want to ask Dennis one last question before we get off here. Dennis, what do you think the people will learn? The biggest thing from this DVD, I wanted to ask Troy. What do you? What's the biggest thing you think your people out there, your all the pool players are going to learn from this DVD? Of course, I, uh, I mean, uh, of course, the how to how ma how to manage yourself, you know, and how the, to manage on the, yeah, on the on the on the table, you know, especially during the match, you know, the crowd, you know, so. Yeah. I can tell how you handle, how you manage yourself, you know, and during the match, you know, so be so, strong. So this DVD is going to be John French and Dennis Ricola, and it's going to be, we're putting it together, me yeah. and him, it's it, it's a partnership. Nice. So yeah. you're going to see this coming out very soon, and like I said, Dennis Ricola, I mean, unbelievably, it's going to be one of the greatest videos I've ever seen. Absolutely. Right. Dennis, once again, thank you for coming thank in you. the booth, Thanks for coming and good luck with the rest yeah. of it, and enjoy your dinner there. Right. Thank you. Good Thanks, job. Dennis. Well, we got a tighter match here, uh, Troy. We got a 4-3 ball game. It should have been 5-2. Now it's 4-3. Yeah, we were uh, preoccupied with uh, Dennis stopping in the booth, which was a, a real treat. Well, yeah, I mean, there's not many times you get a chance like that. And, you know, when we're talking about champions, it's nice to bring one in the booth. Absolutely. And yeah. you know what? That, that whole contingency from the Philippines, what a bunch of great guys. They are. They are. They're so much fun. and Unbelievable. Uh, they, they're they stop by and they, they say hi and they're right you know just a and besides being 
awesome shooters and huge gamblers and uh, staying with the game, you know. Can he make this three? Hey, can he make this three ball here on this? I, mean, I don't know, but the the ten looks wired. Oh, nice call! See, nice catch, right? <laughs> if he can get that, get to that side of it, he'll get he'll get to that side. If uh, he, Kevin may have to elect to punt here and break these ten three up. I really couldn't believe that miss on that on that shot. That yeah, last yeah, that's. Uh, you know that that's four misses. Can you imagine that? He's gonna break these up a little bit. Not that it's gonna matter too much, but it, it'll. Oh, that's a good that's a good way to break them up. That was made the best of a bad situation. Well, I mean, you he know, still has a now he has a pocket for the three, but at least the the ten doesn't have a pocket. So hey, I'm glad I got to talk to you a little bit about that, Troy, about the DVD. I appreciate you bringing that up just for a second, and it means a lot that you uh, you would uh, let us know about that. Oh, that. absolutely. That uh, sounds exciting. That's that's the remedy I need. I know how to sh I know where to shoot the balls, how to shoot the balls. But I think the mind, the, the mental, the strength is this where he's going to teach you. to sit in a chair and then to get up right. and to always right. have that. Um, he's shooting his two ball straight. Yeah. Well, he's just going to stop, kind of just float over right there and just, oh, look at that. Boy, he really made a nice shot on that. I didn't see that coming at all. Yeah, it, 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 I thought he, had, he was right. I thought he was going to stop it and didn't, you know what yeah, I mean? Just accept what he had. But if he had ball in hand, then. Wow, I he, just didn't see that at all. Boy, you, he really made this look easy. Yeah, you generally don't see uh, a lot of these players draw back. If they have especially a ball in hand, they try not to draw back to position. They would rather, they can control the speed a lot better if they can use the rails or follow. I think this looks like it's about as easy as it gets. What do you think, Trey? Well, from here? Well, we said that last time and we seen up the rail on the nine. Yeah, he, he, he's in good shape here. He's just going to... He's he, going to draw it over and put the put the five in the corner on he, the same he, side. He can stay on the same side of the table. Same side. Or he's, he might have a little bit of an angle where he can just float it down. Hey Al, what do you think? Of, what do you think I of this think shot? I think going to float it down a little bit there. Anything he decides to do is the right shot. Yeah, that's for, And he's feeling right about it. That's the key, yeah. key, key denominator with the these great players is they they make a decision, then they commit to the shot, then they get down and shoot it. There's no uh, getting down on a shot and having second thoughts. I was going to ask you, Al, do you know, uh, real quick, where we know, do you know who's up on the TV table next that will folks can uh, look forward to another big match? Do I you? will let the cat out of the bag in about another 10 to 15 minutes. That's awesome. Folks, he's going to let you know in 10 to 15 minutes who we got up coming up, but I'm sure it's going to be another great match just like this one. Absolutely. It, it definitely is. Well, he's playing the nine, but I think he's going to be a little bit more careful this time yeah. than, he, than he was last yeah, time. Yeah, he's just going to pop this in there. That's the end of that. I don't bring him up to 5-3. Even at 5-3, we've had some misses here, and you, 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 you would think it, it could have been really easily it'd be a runaway match, but it's still relatively close. I believe we're going to have a player's timeout. Well, since we're going to have a player's timeout, I might as well let the folks know what's up next. I'm going to flash it right up on the screen. If you guys can share it across your social media, go right ahead. It's going to be Mika Eminem, the Iceman, versus Darren Dynamite Appleton. Wow. Right after this match. Wow, it's wall to wall match. champions. Wall to wall champions here yeah. at Steinway Billiards. I mean, I'm telling you, I've never seen so many champions in my life in one place.